Oh, the guppy, what a beautiful fish, known for its quick wit, easy care, and cannibalism. 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 Hey everyone, this is Fish Forever and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I keep my guppy fry in the same tank as the parent fish without them getting eaten. As we know, guppies and other life-bearing fish such as platys, swordtails, and mollies are cannibals, meaning that they eat their own baby or fry as we call them if they are able to. This is definitely not a good thing if you want to raise these little babies, but today I'm going to be showing you a couple of simple yet effective ways to keep them alive without using another tank. Just like humans, fish need a certain amount of proteins and amino acids in their diet. When they lack these proteins and amino acids, they start to go searching for other forms of protein inside the tank, aka the fry. Now I am not necessarily saying for you to overfeed your fish, but I'm saying for you to feed your fish healthy proteins such as foods containing salmon, herring, and shrimp rather than fish meal, flour, and wheat. Another really good food to feed your growing baby fry as well as your adult fish are vegetables so you can literally feed them any kind of dark leafy green or even some romaine lettuce like I have here. Just blanch it in a little bit of water to soften it up and put it inside your tank. This one of course is quite obvious, but having huts with plants attached to them is a really great source of hiding spots for fry. Moss balls are also very effective for a guppy fry tank. They provide three essential things. The first is filtration, the second is a source of food, and the third of course is a hiding spot. Now every single different fish keeper has their preference on which plant they like the most but if I were to suggest one for keeping guppy fry, it would be this one here. It's called Apongiton uvecius. Now this plant is nothing like any other plant that I've ever had. First of all, it does not require any CO2. Second of all, it can live in fairly low light conditions. I just have a UV light on my nano tank. And third of all, it provides so many different places for your adult and guppy fry to hide in. But if you are not able to find this plant anywhere in your area, a little clump of java moss mixed with guppy grass works just fine for repelling the fish. This is the last tip I have for you and it is keeping the tank dark. So what you can do is you can drape a towel or a blanket over your tank to of course keep it dark enough for your adult guppies not to see the baby guppies. If you have a lot of live plants in your tank, I don't really suggest doing this as it might kill off your plants. But if you have a pretty bare tank, this is also a great idea. So that's going to be everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. Good luck saving your little guppy fry. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me reach my goal of 20,000 subscribers. Go ahead and follow my Instagram at fishforeverchannel and I will see you next time.